Why Roblox developers abandon their games? Have you ever wondered why your favorite game on Roblox might have been abandoned and the reasons why? Well, today we'll be looking into why most Roblox developers end up quitting most of their games. Without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get straight into this discussion. Exhibit A, the problem with the Roblox front page. Hmm, get divorced at 3 a.m. Most engaging. The one thing that these games do best is that they make Roblox money. The sad and unfortunate truth is that most Roblox devs won't be able to reach this front page even if their game is amazing and better than what we've seen on 80% of the front page. If your game isn't able to make enough money for Roblox to recommend it, then it simply just won't get broadcast to the world. A game like Fighting, which is supported heavily by its creators, won't see the light of day on the front page even though it is seemingly the perfect example of a good and simple game, which is what Roblox wanted at one point. But it most likely isn't going to make enough money to make the front page. But this is also an issue since in order for most games to get seen and make money, people have to actually see them. Have you ever tried to search up a game on Roblox and it just doesn't pop up? Well, that's mainly because Roblox shadow bans a lot of games on their site, which is why many games have their own Discord so that people can be well informed where a game is and can have easy access to the link of that game until it is able to be seen on the site. Roblox has done this so many times to games that it's ridiculous. It's like they don't want you to find unique and fun games that have little to no microtransactions because they make the company little to no money destroying that game in this developer's livelihood. At the end of the day, if you spend months on a game in a studio working tirelessly on a unique game just for you to upload it to the site publicly and just for it to get 100 visits or lower, and you will be demotivated and probably want to quit just like anyone else. So people have to find other outlets to get their games out because of Roblox's severely flawed recommendation system. We saw this happen where developer Alito Company, a super popular horror kind of co-op game who was actually an ex-Roblox developer just simply quit Roblox to make an actual game on Steam. And we saw just how successful a unique game can be off of Roblox because it actually can be seen. I bet if Lethal Company was made on Roblox, it would probably be considered an underrated game or a hidden gem, only being able to average around 1k players. This is an issue and will lead to more and more talented developers leaving the platform entirely to become more involved in the indie game industry. Since Lethal Company was such a success, we know that there would be many talented developers on Roblox that aren't able to actually show showcase their skills because of how limiting the platform is. Exhibit B, the toxicity of the Roblox community. I've spoken to a few Roblox developers in the past, both experienced and non-experienced developers, and have realized that the dev community is super now. toxic. It's always a competitive beef or just an ego competition when there's a group of developers in one area. One guy just has to be the best and the world just has to know it. The number one common thing most developers give as advice is really to just not compare your work to others, especially when you're first starting out because that can lead to disappointment early on due to the unrealistic expectations as to what or how something is meant to look or be done. A lot of the time developers aren't given a positive space to just build their skills. It's just a whole bunch of negativity from people and fellow devs because everyone just has such a big ego because they're making thousands from Roblox I guess. Not only just the developers being toxic to each other, just the general Roblox community in general, people like me and you are at fault as well. A lot of the time when a game is in development, the community behind the game will harass many devs for sneaks and even go as far as to straight up disrespect the person hard work while in development. I have made videos reviewing games and giving my complete and honest takes, but I only go as hard on games that I think deserve it because they're obvious cash grabs. But for games that have a good amount of effort put in, I'll always give them props because it's hard to be unique on a platform full of clones. But this level of toxicity from a dev's own community can cause a lot of mental strain and end up making a developer quit outright because I could probably guess it's a lot to handle. I mean, when I get a hate comment on my videos, I have to hold up the urge to curse people out. So I can only imagine how this is for a developer with a a large game getting thousands daily but i think developers just need to keep in mind that roblox is filled with kids that have no idea how a game works or what goes into making an original idea for a game they just only want what is considered popular which is why games like block streets are so popular over original games when things get negative or critical in your community just show them what you're about and ignore the rest exhibit c funding is always a hurdle the bigger a project the more money it will take to make this is an obvious thing when making a game for example a game like rail seas has taken six figures to look this good Compared to a game like Blade Ball, which probably didn't take that much to develop. Again, making unique projects will most likely take more and more money depending on how many features you want to add. But this makes me realize why Roblox developers don't want to make the biggest project starting out, because many just don't have the funding to do so. So they make what they might see on the front page, the cash grabs. And that's what they take inspiration from, which is why we see so many of the same games popping up nowadays. But my counter to this is, you could just have a simple idea like something like Blade Ball and it will go crazy and make tons of 
profit for you and your team. And it will last longer than you copying a game you see on the front page, making you even more money in the long run. Just something to think about if you're planning to become a dev or already are one. Exhibit D, scamming in the Roblox community. On Twitter recently, I've been seeing tons of Roblox developers be scammed out of their hard work and it's honestly sickening. It could be another reason why developers don't want to work on this platform. For example, a developer by the name of Orca had lost over $2,250 just because the people who commissioned decided to charge back the money given, taking his work and leaving him in a tough position since he was using the money to provide for his family. I want to use this video as a platform to expose this type of abuse because it's simply not okay. A lot of Roblox devs do this for a living, so seeing someone's livelihood be taken away just because someone wanted to be an idiot, many lead devs have expressed that a lot of people they commission also scam too, so it goes both ways. The people who do the work get scammed, and the people who pay to get the work done also get scammed when the work isn't done or completed to the highest quality. It's trash, and Roblox has no official way to really protect anyone against this, so people lose thousands trying to develop on the platform, and it's genuinely just sad to see. Exhibit E Over ambition leads to bad management. A lot of the time when a game is made, one of the reasons why a game is shut down is mainly due to a game being wrongfully led. Whether that be the game being built on bad code or the game becoming literally unfixable due to over ambitious updates. Project Slayer is a game that was super popular at one point, garnering over 100k players, has suffered from this, and was abandoned by the developers for months before a statement was put out saying that the game was built on bad code and was damn near unfixable, unless sold to someone who could fix it. This is just outright trash management from the lead developers for not realizing sooner and fixing the game instead of leaving the community in the dark for months on end. But a lot of games suffer from Roblox updating and breaking things often as well, so sometimes it's out of their control. But it is important to let your community know when something like this happens, instead of just letting the game go without updates and changes on end. But the stress that this causes also leads to devs abandoning previous projects and starting new ones, believe it or not. And of course, with this bad management, leads to the game dying off in player count, which of course leads to the development team becoming more and more unmotivated to work on the game, which leads to the eventual death of that game. And then sometimes life just gets in the way of developing, so that too can make a developer maybe want to abandon a game. Roblox development is not easy, especially with the home page of the game being riddled with trash and not catering towards creativity, but I will say, don't give up on creating your project, whether it be big or small, because trust me, someone out there will like it and play it. Don't be scared to go against what works either, we need more creative games, so let your game be that instead of conforming to the trash we see everyday on Roblox. But if you do decide to create a cash grab, at least use that money to create something creative and unique and just give back to the platform, you know? Good luck to all of you developers, whether that be aspiring or experienced devs, and I hope everything goes in your favor. Now, as I say in every video, if you guys enjoyed this video and you like to see more content like this one, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.